Oh, yeah. What's up, Road Dog? P1 production expert and or sweet supernatural freak. I am Roy Golden Dorado myself, coming straight at you from around the side. Previously recorded now on YouTube Live. Go Google, like me. Hey. Listen. Oh, no. Tonight I've got an audio treat so sweet. Your cochleas will swallow it all because... Amigos, because... Because I can. And because it is Showtime Sunday. Showtime Sunday, y'all. Episode 002. I'm calling it Slow. Why are you calling it slow? Because I'm going to take my time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take my time. Explain myself a little bit. Wrote a song today. I actually wrote a song the last couple of days. Wrote songs the last couple of days. It was good. Good ones. Really good. I like it. And I thought I would share with you tonight, sweet fan. Oh, yes. Before I get too much balls deep into this A Bedroom Boy's Best studio thing, which only has a couple of days left, I got to be out of here on Friday, which means I have to finish. <laughs> I have to finish soon. I've got, <laughs> I've got to finish Retracking, remixing, remastering my debut album, Omniville. I'm calling it the Unleashed version now. Unleashed, Omniville Unleashed must be completed by noon on this coming Friday. That is 31st of March, 2017. Because this bedroom studio will be no more as of the 31st. That's right. I'm moving out. Where am I going to go? I don't know. It's a secret. It's a secret. (laughs) But first things first, one step at a time, right? I got to finish this. A Bedroom Boy's Best, my debut album, Omniville, released last year, 15 May 2016. I call that the Omniville 515 version. It's available now from your favorite online music retailer. I prefer Play Store. Go Google. Like me. 11 original songs that travel straight from here. My heart to your ears. Sincere songwriting, country music. Country music! That's right, Corby. Arbach. Country music. Sweet country music. What is country music? I'll tell you my definition. Country music is, like Nashville, the heart of a songwriter. With each beat pumps pain, passion, love, life, and truth. And the soul that keeps this heart alive is the song. Roy Golden, Dorado myself. That's my definition. Others have answered that question. My heroes. I like Dolly Parton's. Country music is ordinary stories told by ordinary people. An extraordinary way, right? Music with a lot of class, she says up first. 
Country music is music with a lot of class. Music with a lot of class. Thank goodness she said music because, as we all know, I'm, I'm the opposite of classy. As a human. But I work really hard to make sure that my music has a high degree of poetic element. Has a memorably memorable melody, but something that is not standard. It's extraordinary. Ordinary stories told by ordinary people, that's definitely me, in an extraordinary way. I, I think that's a great definition. Of course, I like my definition too, but Dolly's definition is wonderful. Miss Parton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But last year, whenever I released this album, I had virtually no experience mixing and mastering and tracking. Oh my gosh, did I make some newbie rube mistakes. Think I cared? <laughs> no. I'm that special kind of sociopath. I don't care what you think about me, but I do care about you. That's the truth. That is the truth. I don't mind failing a billion, shit a trillion times. Because one of those times, for at least for me, it's the same way it was for learning how to water ski. Give me a good old-fashioned brute force attack any day of the week. I'll just, I'll overwhelm you with brute force to break through. Same thing with songwriting. Eventually, I'll just, I'll outlast the resistance, Obergruppenfuhrer. Mm-hmm. Show will. Showtime Sunday. That's the second time that I've referenced the man in the high castle this week. Got me some Amazon Prime 30-day free trial goodness. I got to be honest with you. I'm really, really, really digging Amazon Prime. Really, really digging it. I got to be honest with you. I am not really, 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 as of today. When is today again? Oh, yeah. 26 March. As of 26 March 2017, I am not digging Apple Music Mad Subscription Service. I am digging Amazon Prime. Not only did I get free shipping and a great deal on a piece of equipment that I absolutely needed to finish up a bedroom boy's best, and not only did I order it at 8.45 p.m. on Wednesday night, and it was delivered to my doorstep, Free of charge through Amazon Prime before noon the next day. Oh, snap. Are you serious? I think I'm going to have to do a review about that. Mad shout outs on Twitter and whatever the flavor of the day is. I dig it. I dig it a lot. It's got some original television series, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of Netflix, currently. I'm a huge fan of HBO Now. I'll take it easy, Warner. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Showtime, Anytime. Oh, watch out, CBS. Yeah. I love me the CW. Oh, and there's some more Warner goodness for you. Hey, I love all the majors. Where you at? Viva Vivondi. Mm. Yes. V 
Shiva Vivondi. It's a great big universe, isn't it? <laughs> it's a great big universal. Big enough for Sony to fit in. I'll take it easy, Sony. Supernatural freaks. Y'all know where that comes from, right? Seriously. Team Crowley Dean. No. Go Google it like me. <sighs> I've got a new song tonight. We'll talk about some TV stuff. But uh, let's get to this song. Normally, I like to do Date Night Friday. Poetry time. Where I'll go over some, some new poems and such. But today, since I had... Inspirationals. Uh, I thought I would go through the process of how to avoid writer's block. If you got writer's block, I mean, I don't know what that means. But I don't suffer from that. So maybe if you do like I do, then you can avoid it as well. First of all, get out there and live a little. If you live long enough, like me, <laughs> 37 years on this planet, probably you'll have enough material, <laughs> if you know what I mean, to last a long time. But we're only as good as the last song that we wrote, right? And what do we do today, huh? What have you done for me lately? I love that world. That's the world I live in. That is the world I live in today, music sports. Where I am today, sports music. So let's get to it. I'm going to share with you my experience writing a brand new song. We're going to start from scratch. I'm going to show it to you start to finish. And then I'm even going to share with you <laughs> and I haven't even listened to this yet, but I'll put it on my speakerphone. I, I used, I've got an iPhone right now. iPhone 6 Sierra. Success. Success, success. Success. What I like to do is write the lyrics. I'll just use whatever. I don't even take a pen and paper. I'll ask somebody for one. It's a conversation starter. You know what? I've never been denied. The teacher. I brought my pencil. Give me something to write on. I've never, I've never been denied. Something to write on. And a writing instrument. <clears throat> when I've asked politely. Which is what I always do. So therefore, never, not once, has somebody denied me. You should always keep something with you to write on. Well, what's the fun in that? You know? I like, I like to, to let you know that you're needed. I want to know that... You, that you're that you're there for me. That makes me happy. To know I can depend on you. When I need you, you can help me be the best that I can be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. This song is called Slow. Mm -hmm. A bedroom boy's best. What are we now? Uh, Showtime Sunday. Episode 2, yeah. E002. Slow. Okay, let's start with the lyric. Let us start with the lyric and then we'll just go from there. Yeah, check me out. Check me out. 
I really, 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 really,
and I go into a little bit of further detail on youtube.com slash Roy Golden videos. Check out the playlist, A Bedroom Boy's Best, an introduction. The Kiss Another Wave episode. Yeah. I'll talk about how music is sexy. It's my favorite form of art. Music is my favorite form of art. It's extremely sexy. The song Kiss Another Wave is written symbolically as a description of a sexual encounter. That song, I wrote the melody before I wrote the lyric, and that marked the first time in my career as a songwriter. I started writing lyrics in 1994, completed my first song in January of 1995, as in completed song, lyrics, melody, chord structure, all that stuff, tempo. A, a, an actual composition, song composition uh, in January 1995. But in October 1999, for the first time, I wrote a chord progression, 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 chord progression for Kiss Another Wave. Yep, I did not. No apologies. I did. I did not. Uh, I did not tune. another wave I came up with that and then I composed lyrics to that what is a very straightforward progression it's a it's different see if you can uh, if you have perfect pitch see if <laughs> if you have perfect bitch perfect pitch for my <laughs> out of tune guitar That's it. That's it. And then, depending on where we are in the song and what I'm talking about, the uh, the pace of the beats of how I change the chords, it it picks up. It right. It starts out okay, uh, 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 and then it goes uh, 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 right, and then at the end, there's a. Uh, mm, one last upstroke there. Yeah. I love that song and and what I'm redoing for Omniville Unleashed. I it's just blowing me away. The progress that we made the last couple of days. Okay, so I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to keep my guitar handy. Showtime Sunday Special Songwriting Edition. Starting with Kiss Another Wave. Way back in the day, 1999. I, that's 18 years ago. 
18 years ago. Ever since then, every single song that I've written do 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 Every single song that I've written, I've uh, I've done the melody first. Recently, I noticed as of everything wrong. Tell me, how did we end up like this? So far away from our first gentle kiss. That's what, 2010-ish? Maybe 2011? Can't remember. Ever since then, for the past five or six years, I have simultaneously, simultaneous, mm, simultaneously, composed the lyrics and the melody. In other words, I'll hear the melody in my head and I will write the lyrics out as I'm hearing that melody to make it fit. It's just a more efficient way for me to be focused on the task at hand, which is compose a song. Yeah. Here, I've got a slide for that. There you go. The goal, simultaneous release, lyrics and melody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It starts with the melody. I'll hear the melody in my head, and then I will match the idea, the poetry, the lyric, to the melody. That's what I do. <clears throat> Man, Dolphin is just annoyingly strong tonight. The goal is simultaneous release. It, it's, it's the goal because it... I don't... I don't waste any I don't waste any movement or any energy or any thought process it's in my opinion the most efficient way for me to complete the task at hand is to hear it all as one complete unit as one cohesive idea Lyric and melody. So I'll do that at the same time. I will start, though, with a melody in my head, and then I will visualize those lyrics, right? So today... I I found uh, and thank you for this jivey beast. It wasn't until I began to work with exceptionally talented musicians, unlike me. I'm not a musician, by the way, just to let you know. Just to let you know. I will never be a musician. I'm a ponce. I'm a knobsy ponce. Dolphin squeal specialist and P1 spare extraordinaire. That's what I am. Yeah, just kind of do this singing songwriting thing. But when I started...
working with some amazingly talented musicians from all over the world. London, England, Nashville, Tennessee, Lima, Peru. I began I began to hear my compositions in a way that I had not heard them before. And something that has helped me tremendously is the interpretation that the drummer I hired and the bass player I hired, oh, they happen to be the same person because he's a beast of a musician. James Ivy, I call him Jivey Beast because he's a beast on bass and drums and electric guitar and pretty much anything that moves makes a frequency and he did a review of the warm audio tb12 tone beast it was one of the first uh first things that i saw and his review of that unit actually led me to purchase it as did his review of audience id 22 which i also have right here in front of me banner ads do work and gear reviews do work. Thank you, pro-expert.com. And thank you, James Jivey Beast Ivy, for reviewing such amazing gear as the Orm Audio Tone Beast TB12 and the Audient ID22. Couldn't have been happier. And you know what I liked about the ID22? That you said, it's built like a tank. <laughs> You know what? It is built like a tank, which is a good thing because it's fallen off of my desk multiple times. And it still keeps on trucking. So there you go. It's built like a tank. You weren't kidding. I don't recommend that any one of you do that. But hey, accidents happen. This audience is amazing. It's a great piece of gear. Great piece of gear. Words of Music by Rodale Golden Jr., 26 March 2017. After working with James and mixing his drums and his bass, I start right there. I start with what I perceive to be the bass line or the, the bass melody, right? Not so much even the hook, but just where where are we started? Where are we starting this? Where's the the basic, the how-to basic bass, and where is, where is the beat? What is the groove? I'm starting in that groove. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Lyrics and melody at the same time. That groove, the groove. I want that groove. And in this case, the groove that I started out with was. Okay, this is going to be a slow song. I'm going to call it slow. Thank you, Kelsey. Fast or slow? Slow. Ooh, I can work with that. Okay, I'll start with that, and just in my head, just in my head, I still don't feel like that's the right key. What is this? What should this be? All right, let's start with there. Slow down, girl. Wow, it's low. Slow down, girl. the door 
slow down, girl. Okay, so we're going to work on the chorus a little bit as we go through this. Let's, uh, here, we'll start with that lyric. That's the basic melody through the verse and the chorus, yeah. Uh, just for reference, just for reference, that was a G and then a variation of a suspend right here. And then a variation of a different G suspend. And then an F. Or a flat seven. C. F. C. G. Yeah? I may end up playing that a half step. Up, as in an A flat instead. You know what I mean? A flat, yeah. But <clears throat> slow down, girl. Pretty low. Is everyone familiar with Giddy Up Oo Papa Oo Bapa? Giddy Up a Oo Papa Oo Papa Mow Mow Giddy Up a Oo Papa Oo Papa Mow Mow High Old Silver Away. Also known as Elvira to some of you. Giddy Up Oo C3. Is on the record, if I'm not mistaken. Well, in concert, you don't know the bass singer of the Oak Ridge Boys. Let's go Google it like me. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
who were singing back up for Elvis Presley at the time. Oom papa oom papa my my giddy up Remember uh, Dream On? Dream On. Dream On. Dream about the world we're gonna live in. <laughs> Hendersonville. I love me some Hendersonville. It's a nice, nice, nice. It's amazing to me that he is 73. This is him at 70 years old. He, he looks great. He looks great. Well, in concert, even though it's it's a giddy up upapa ubapa, ooh, maybe a, a C3, right? Or maybe a, I don't know, maybe a B3. I, I think it's I think it's key of C. Um, ooh, mau mau, giddy up, ooh, ooh, mau mau. Well, if you saw them live, Sweet Richard, Sweet Rick, he would go to low bass. He would go an octave below that with ease. Ooh, Papa, my, my, giddy up, bow. And then he would go on down to the, he would, he would go to C2 and then he'd, he'd go down to the, uh, to that G. He'd go down to G2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For reference, take, take the, uh, standard tuning on your guitar. Ooh. That's E2, yeah, about 80, what is that, like 81.2 hertz. Um, yeah. And it's, it's down underneath that. And he would, he would do it perfectly every time, live, on stage. Giddy up, bow, 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 bow. I mean, <clears throat> hi, old silver away. <laughs> Giddy up, upapa, upapa. Anyway, we're here. Slow down, girl. Yeah, it's here. I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. Slow down, girl. That's better. Walk out the door. Slow down, girl. Slow down, girl. I understand my plans. I want to be your man. Yeah. You don't think I can. Give me time I'll change your mind You can trust My love's gonna be enough You 
Just slow down, girl. Something like that. <sighs> Slow down, girl. Slow down, girl. Although I love, 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 love,
then door. Thank you, autocorrect. Slow down, girl. All right. Lyrically, not a whole lot going on, is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen songs with uh, maybe some of these little optional words, depending on how I'm feeling. Slow down, girl. Don't you see my words? Walk out the door Slow down, girl Slow down, girl I like these repetitive elements for this particular song. It works. Some of my music, some of my, some of my, some of my hair, some of my hair, some of my plans, some of my girl. Slow down, girl. Before you don't, yeah, right. That should be before you. I love playing songs live so that I can see what works and what doesn't. And I feel like this is one of those songs I'll need to play a couple of times, see what works, see what doesn't. Feel what works, feel what doesn't. Get some feedback in a live environs. I think it's going to be really, 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 really nice. Let's continue. Slow down, girl. Repetition. Should have a comma there, shouldn't we? Well, you know what? Proper. Let's proper that. Tranquila. Tranquila, ella. <laughs> Tranquila. Tranquila, ella. <laughs> Tranquila, ella. <laughs> That's right. I'll get to the lyrics. Tranquila. Tranquila, ella. Uh, it works for my bachata or the ma bachatas. Works for my ma bachatas. Watch out, Ray Dorado. Hey, uh, understand my plans. Although I'm not using many words. And I'm not using many multi, uh, I'm using a lot of monosyllabic, as in walk out the door. This is the first time, right, that I've used anything over one syllable. Understand my plans. It gets a little more complicated here. It starts out real, slow down, slow down, girl. I, I kind of like this, Try to try to see my world. Understand my plans. Try to see my world. Right? Doesn't that work? So maybe the first time through we, we say try try to see my world. Don't walk out the door. Slow down, girl. Slow down, girl. Understand my plans.
I want to be your man. Or, I want to be your, I want to be, I want to, I want to be, I'm a want to be real dog. I want to be a man. Slow down, girl. Understand my plans. I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Don't walk out the door. Snaps. I can be your man. Understand my plans. I'm going to leave this for now. Typically, I would like to get the same amount of syllables in this line slash measure. Don't walk out the door. Right? Try to see my world. Don't. Don't walk out the door. I could always add one. Please don't walk out the door. I don't know. It just seems like it's too much. Then again, we're increasing here. Increasing in complexity as we go along. So. Just as a, uh, as a reminder, this is my mad process. This is how I do it. That's how I do it. I ask myself all these questions. Legitimate questions. Save my work. Slow down. This is one of the reasons that I enjoy just using a very a how-to basic, a very basic word processing tool. For me, it, it's recently it's been text edit. I love just using text edit. So that I can get a good look at this. I want to be your man. Understand my plans. I want to be your man. Slow down. Don't walk out the door. Okay, she's 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 about to get on out of here, yeah? Know what I mean? Understand my plans. Try to see my world. Try to see my world. Before you walk out the door. That works too. That's why I wrote it. And then I scratched it out. But I want to keep that here. Try to see my world. I, I, I'm. There's more that's going on here. Then I can explain in five minutes. So s slow down. Slow down for a second. Before, before you walk out there, before you give up on this, please grant me an extension of time. Extension. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Understand my plans. It, to, to be able to understand my plans is going to take a little more time to explain and to show you, understand my plans. I want to be your man. Okay, I want to be your man. In the world, and this is the world that I live in. In the world that I live in. You're going to have to open your eyes and visualize. Just try to try to see my world. Look look from my perspective at this. Give me a little more time. Slow down, girl. I want to be your man. I really, I, I really, 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 really like you. Don't walk out the door. Don't leave me. Don't leave me just yet, baby. Just slow down, girl. 
Slow down, girl. I leave it up to the Javi Beast to come up with something kind of cool for that. Real drummer, get real drums on your tracks, like me. All right. I want to be your man. And what I've got written is you, there's a question. You don't think, okay, now, now I've got some engagement. It's not just me talking. You don't think I can? You don't think, think I can? <laughs> you don't think I can, baby? I love it on the challenge just to prove you wrong. Slow down, girl. Understand my plans. I want to be your man. You don't think I can? Here it comes. Give me time. G Gibe. Gibe. Give me time. To change your mind. You can trust. My love will be enough if you just. And here is where, as a vocalist, it seems like I'm always relying on them musicians and these others to bring something to my table. Well, because I've all, I put it all out there as a compositionalist. In this case... The compositionalist is relying on Dorado myself, the vocalist, to do something really cool and sweet with the vocal interpretation to bring some life to these lyrics. Even though the concept, I find, is a I, I just, I really dig this for whatever reason. I really, really, really dig this. I love it. I love the concept, and I love the execution, but what it is going to require for the execution to really be pulled off is right here. And give me time to change your mind. You can trust my love will be enough if you just slow down girl uh, not so much with this part and give me time to change your mind you can trust my love will be enough if you just hold on Let's see here oh George <coughs> Okay, <laughs> I got to get all lubed up. Let's take it from the top, yeah? I want to make it fit all... You little... Select all, please. Thank you. Crazy. Mm hmm Here we go. You just slow down, girl. Okay. Here we go. I am playing uh, standard tuning capo on one, which is going to make this, uh, what, A-flat-ish? Add flat seven. Do 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 do. 
Okay, I don't like that many words at first. Slow down, girl. Come see my world. Don't walk out the door. Slow down, girl. How about that? Okay. Slow down, girl. Come see my world. That works better. Don't walk out the door Slow down, girl Slow down, girl Understand my place I want to be your man You don't think I can? Then give me time To change your mind You can trust My love will be enough If you just Slow down, girl Instrumental solo, right? Okay, next part. <clears throat> you just slow down, girl. I really uh, I'm digging I'm digging the groove of this song a lot I like it I like it and then give me time I swear I'll change your mind I sweat. Oh, baby. I swear I'll change your mind. You can trust. My love will always be enough. Uh, all I'm doing here is I'm using some repetition. Repetition with escalation. Right? Repetition with escalation here. Escalation in the uh, the use of mad syllables, yeah? With an increasing in syllables. Give me time to change your mind. You can trust my love will be enough if you just... If you just... Yeah, I really like... Uh, I, I've got it in my tiny mind. What I want to do with this. My love... You can trust my love will be enough if you just slow down, girl. Right, it builds up here. I'm going to build it. I'm going to. I'm going to. It builds through here, through the whatever you want. If you want to call this a chorus, it's fine.
Give me time to change your mind You can trust my love for me enough If you just Slow down, girl Yeah, I think it would be really nice if I could Sing all of this in one breath. Showing a lot of range and emotion and subtle nuance control. That's the key. I'll have to work on that just a little bit. But the way I've got it in my tiny mind, I can hear it. And I know it's going to work. If you just slow down, girl. <sighs> Maybe not exactly like that, but you know what I'm getting at. To change your mind, and then my love will be enough. That is the emphatic emphasis. My love. You can trust my love will be enough. Uh, 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 uh. Exactly. If you if you just slow down, girl. Give me time. Mad instrumental, though. Mad instrumental right here. Mad instrumental. There you go. Give me time, I swear I'll change your mind. Uh, repetition with an escalation and an emphasis vocally. You can trust my love. My love will always be in a love. I don't know, I'll work it out. If you just do, do, do. My love will always be enough. Something like that. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Yep, and then, ah, bookend it. And this is where we escalate. Syllabically. What? Syllabic. Yes. Syllabically. Huh? You go gogly. Are you googling? Try to see my world. Uh, this is a point where maybe this is uh, spoken instead of song at the end. It's got to. Uh, it's going to be a great one, though. It is a great one. It's already done. It's done. It's done and it's great. And it's four minutes long. <sighs> How did I write this? Do 
what what was your what was your um inspiration I make mad observations, Roald Dog. I make mad observations. I'm a voyeur, Roald Dog. I'm a voyeur. I'm a watcher. People watch. Yeah. Not only do I watch, I participate. Participate. You remember whenever I do my little introduction, it's always the hey listen. Well, not only because I'm a the Legend of Zelda fan. But. But because. Pay attention. Hey, listen, this is important. Tonight I've got an audio treat so sweet your cochleas will swallow it all. Hey. Listen. Giddy up a hoon, pop a mow, mow. Ooh, pop a mow, mow. Ooh, pop a boo. Yeah, ooh, pop a mow, mow. <clears throat> hey, listen, this is important. I make mad observations. I hide in plain sight. I got that, uh, the art of war, that great camouflage. The best camouf the, the best concealment is to hide in plain sight, right? So they say. I don't disagree. I love to hide in plain sight. You know why? I assume that everyone else is not going to take the time to, hey, listen, make mad observations like me. They're not going to observe the surroundings. They're not going to look past the surface. If only, would that it was so simple. Would that it were, would that it were so simple. But that is exactly what I do. I'm always looking. Remember that time? <laughs> Remember that time? Please go back and watch my videos. I explain it all. In the introduction. I explain everything in the introductions. Remember that? In those little 200 to 250 word, one minute opening introductions of the A Better Room Boy's Best, an introduction. I explain all of that while I introduce you to the songs that we'll be covering for my debut album, Omniville. When I, when I am in this state of this state of emotional nakedness constantly, because that's the only way I know how to be. That's that's the only time that I'm me. So I go ahead and I I do it. I know it's not it's not socially acceptable in the corporate realm. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm a special kind of sociopath, remember? It's me. No apologies. No apologies. I look at you with my crazy eyes, and I'm trying to gaze deep down into your soul whenever you make eye contact with me to see what's home. Who are you? Yes, I'm trying to pierce your soul through your eyes. Those are my crazy eyes. No apologies. I'm looking past the surface of your skin. To 
try and discover who are you. And if you can hold my gaze, then you can see inside of me. I have opened myself up to you from the moment that we first met. If you look for it, make mad observations in that same way since I am a country music singer plus songwriter hell bent on making sure that I bring sincerity to my songwriting. All I have to do is look around. I look around and I make observations. And today I asked the question, fast or slow? Slow. Next thing you know, here's what we got. <laughs> got a mad song, roll dog. Boop. Mm-hmm. Got lyrics and melody. The goal, simultaneous release of lyrics and melody, right? It's My Mad Process, by the way, Roll Dog. Showtime Sunday special songwriting edition, My Mad Process. Here's what I do. I make mad observations. I write what I see. I write what I know. I write who I am. I write what I feel. Sincerity in songwriting is really, whether it was so simple, guess what? It, it may not be simple, but it is a very straightforward process. Not reinventing the wheel here. This is just how I do it. It's straightforward, real dog. Make mad observations. Hey, listen. I'm going to write a song. Hey, fast or slow? Slow. All right, I can work with that. Slow down, girl. Come see my world. Don't walk out the door. Slow down, girl. There you go. Remember the groove. Make a memory. The way I make a memory, I told you all about this earlier. Unbelievable. The way to uh, make a memory. At least the way I do it. There you go. I'll make a voice memo. Melody and groove. Because who knows what may happen. The more I do it, I'll most likely remember it. But in order to make sure that I remember it, I make a memory of it. I make a snapshot of it. I make a recording of it on my phone. I found Six Sierra right now, 6S. The little memo. And then I email that to two email addresses, my corporate email address and a different email address, backup email address. I'll make sure that it goes through. Boom, done. What happens if the phone breaks, gets stolen, gets lost? Yeah. I'll take a snapshot of whatever piece of paper that I've written these lyrics on. In this case, I just, I like to, uh, to get a napkin and a pen. It's great. I 
take a picture of it front and back, and I email it. So I email a copy of that, time stamps it, send off my copyright. Just to make sure I'm protected in that sense. And now here we are. I typically I don't like to share unpublished material with the world, but I thought that tonight was could be an exception. Because it's showtime Sunday. You know. And I really like this song, and I wanted to go ahead and finish it out while it was fresh on my mind. And I'm glad I did. Feels good. I need to uh need to sing it through a few times. It's gonna be great. But I like I like where it it I like where it is a lot. I like where it is a lot. I can hear it. I've got that begin again producer type deal. Remember when Sweet KK was on stage? The little open mic night. She had two verses and a half of a chorus that she messed up, but remember. There's a mad A and R producer in there, old dog. He had the vision. He could visualize the hit. I visualized the the band's arrangement whenever I played this song through a few times. Very Vince Gillish. I just hear that Vince Gill classic guitar sound. Y'all know Vince Gill, right? My flat seven in there. Man, I love where it's going. I know it's the last slide I have here. <laughs> yes. Achieve your worthy goal like me, simultaneous release. Put it all together. Put it all together, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Achieve your worthy goal like me. To recap, my mad process, make mad observations. That'll give you a jumping off point if you've got this, what is, whatever, if you've got what's called writer's block. Just open your open your eyes. Hey, listen. Make mad observations. Write what you see. That'll get you over it. The goal is simultaneous release. As I'm writing, first I start with that melody. Okay. I hear the melody. And specifically, first I'll start with a beat, and then I'll construct a bass line in my tiny mind, okay? Giddy up a hoop up a mile mile giddy up a Right. Lyrics and melody come together. Write them lyrics out as the melody is being constructed in your mind. I just I hear the melody 
and I write those lyrics as I'm hearing the melody and I put it all together right there. My goal, simultaneous release of the lyrics and the melody, yeah? Whenever it gets to the point that it is constructed, remember that groove, I make a memory of it, I take a snapshot of it on a recording device and I, I timestamp it some way with multiple emails. All right, pictures, emails, and then a voice memo. And I email the voice memo. There you go. Now make sure all that goes through. And then I celebrate. <laughs> it's been a good day. Wow, that was a great day. Half an hour, <laughs> half an hour on, <laughs> half an hour on the clock, y'all. There you go. Now, what am I going to do for the rest of the 23 hours and 30 minutes? And then achieve that worthy goal like me, simultaneous release. Get get back to the point where if you don't have an instrument in front of you, do like I did. Put everything together and sing it out loud. See what works. See what doesn't. Hear what works. Hear what doesn't. Ask yourself these questions. If you've got If you have these alterations, I keep all that in there and until I play it. I scratched it out on the napkin, but I left it in here. Maybe that's an alteration. Maybe I'll use that. Maybe I won't. You never know. It's worth the shot. I just do it like that. Put it in parentheses real though. You know what I mean? Until finally... Achieve that worthy goal. Yeah. Got that relentless determination to achieve a worthy goal. That road dog spirit. R-D-A-W-G. That's right, road dog. Like me, Roy Golden, Dorado myself. Hopefully you've been entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear. Be the change you need to see and live the life you dare to dream. Why make believe when you can make be live? Like me. Later, Road Dog.